Hi there, today I want to talk about my day, which is a new view of the timetable in sector. All of us need to check this out because this looks a little bit different and can cause confusion uh, if you're going in there for the first time and don't know what it's all about. So I want to focus on the top left here that has all these different views of the timetable. Uh, starting from the right, student, that's just, you can put a student's name in and you can see what their timetable is, which is handy. Um, given that uh, we have to go over to the SIP sometimes and look up a student. So we can see a student's timetable directly in there. Calendar classes is what the junior school use. So there's the calendar view of the timetable here of a junior school class uh, where all of the classes are time bound. The traditional view is what we always used to see where the timetables are in blocks of 50 minutes. So uh, for a typical senior school student, Oh, sorry, for a typical senior school staff member, they would use this traditional view of the timetable because you can see all of the periods and blocks there. My classes is just a list of all of the classes that you teach. This is really handy if you're trying to look through the traditional view and can't find a class. This is one that I use a lot and it's helpful to see all of the classes that you're teaching. You can also see the actions on the, the right-hand side there. Uh, for example, getting to the the attendance module or the marks book, etc. On the left of this is My Day is brand new. So with My Day, you get a view of the classes that you are teaching on that day down the left hand side. And when you select a class, you get this view here. So this part here, the main section there is comes under the heading lesson plan. Now this is the section if I write on here, that you would have got if you click on the little book icon next to the program on any given day. What you write here and what goes there is the exact same thing. So this is the section where you would leave work for a relief for other teachers to see what it is that you wanted your class to do. So you can give a title to the lesson. So I can give it, say it's relief. I can write my notes here on that day. Uh, I can, if I was writing a lesson in here, and really this is for people that are using the programming elements of Sectormore, I can write in the essential learning, I can write in homework, I could define resources, I could do notes that are read only for me, I could book resources in here. Um, so, but really this is where your notes go for, for the staff members who are taking your relief. Notice that you can insert things like videos and documents and all of that sort of thing in this section here. If you wanted to leave stuff for the students to see, if I hit that drop down arrow there, then I get to the online lesson. Now this is the section where students would see things. And this is sector creator, so we could drag in some text if we wanted to. So I'm just clicking and dragging, dropping it there on the page. I could then uh, put my notes for students here. Okay and give them any direction that you wanted to, to, them to have, they would see this if they went on to sector, they would be able to see those notes. Now over on the right here as well, you can see the previous lesson and the next lesson as well. So if I click on that, that's gonna now go to Thursday, the day after today. So in the traditional view, if I go to that little book icon now and select that, we now get this My Day view, which is why it was a little bit confusing before. So that's where your notes go. If I go to the program now for that uh, individual class, I just wanna show you how this all links together. So if I go to the planning tab in the program now, you will see the list of lessons. And you can see for this particular day, that is exactly what I wrote over there in the My Day section. So anything that I write here is in the exact same place as it was in that My Day section, okay? So again, in the planning tab, we have notes that we leave for the person who's taking the relief for teachers. Students can't see what's in that section there. If we wanted to leave uh, things for students, we can click on Edit Online Lessons, and you can see that uh, that lesson has the same title, Relief, and they're the notes there that I wrote there in the online lesson section. So just wanted you to see how the My Day thing syncs up with what you see from the program. I think this view is really nice because you can, if you do have to um, leave relief for your classes, it's really easy in the My Day view to just go through each class here at a time 
and leave your lesson information um, that you need to put in all in one spot rather than jumping in and out of the classes, in and out of the uh, that book icon that typically we would use. Here I can just click through all of these, leave the notes that I need to on here, and uh, we're done. So we can also click through to, to uh, days. Normally on this view you'd have a, a date selector over here. That's disabled because the date selector is over here on the left. So if I want to go to Friday, the uh, 16th, I can go to that day, I can see all my classes. Again, I can click on the class and leave the information there. So that's just a quick overview of the My Day view in Sector.